Yeah, and I mean, look, I'm I, I'm not breaking any ground to say that the referee situation is is one of the the most uh, I don't know alarming or the weakest aspects of the AEW product because it's and it's even more apparent again when you're there live because then you have the ability to just completely stare at them and watch what they're doing every second <laughs> and what you find is that they are just standing there I mean I, I can't disagree because I saw it with my own eyes they just stand they they kind of there's portions where they're just staring vacantly it's almost like they're watching what's happening but they're looking through it they're not really <laughs> seeing it they're they're standing way too far away um you know I, I find that this is a particular problem with this company and you know I've written about it before and I I can't blame them I can't because they're obviously being told to do this this way they're being told to do their job in a certain way and look they're doing it well and, and actually to be honest I don't think uh, I see what you're saying I think you phrased it in reverse they're not being told to not do this you don't think that they're being specifically told to hang back and not get too heavily involved and to let things go because I think they probably well, are. No, I th I th I I think that this is what they do now because they've never been taught how to not they've never been taught how to actually referee wrestling like wrestling is supposed to be refereed. Nobody follows the rules. They all come from most of the independents. They like these guys. They want to get along. If you give a referee a finish, if it doesn't make any sense, what's the referee supposed to say? Well, doesn't work for me, brother. They don't have that power, so they have to stand there and look like idiots. And they just go with it because they figure, okay, people in a more important position than me are saying this is okay, so I guess it is. You know, it, if Tommy Young went in there, he'd have a goddamn coronary. But, you know, that's because referees used to be able to used to be taught how to referee and now they just see what these guys are doing and imitate it i think it's it's a very tough job i don't envy them refereeing is hard because you have to walk this line at least if you're doing it the right way you have to walk this line where you don't want to be drawing too much attention to yourself you know the, the attention shouldn't be on you but at the same time, you have to always at least give the appearance <laughs> that you're doing something. You have right. to look like you're involved, you're in there, you're you're the voice of authority without, again, without stealing the thunder away from the wrestlers. But you can't just make it so clear that you're just in there to count a three and, and that's really all you're in there for. And you have to at least give the illusion that that's not what you're in there for. <laughs> you have to but look like you're in charge. It doesn't start with the referees, though. It's that's why Watts. If you middled the referee, which is what it used to be called back when this was a business instead of a playground, you middled the referee. You put the referee in the middle of something. You buried him. He saw you use an object that uh, would be a disqualification, or saw you use a move that should be a disqualification, or did something to make him look like complete shit. Bill Watts would find the guys, the wrestlers that did that to the referee. And it, you would get it on your check. Fine, $50 or $100, whatever, middling the referee. Why did you do that in front of him? It's your job not to. As right. Tommy Young told me a story one time, Brute Bernard was like a French-Canadian, you know, version of Sheik or whatever. He was wild and crazy, a madman, and he loved to brawl and use gimmicks and everything. He rolls out of the ring one night in Charlotte and gets a pulls from under the ring. And this was before they actually salted the underneath the ringside area. It was just an extra board left over. He picks out like this four foot long two before and he sticks it over his head. Imagine this again, Brute Bernard, this big, bald, 260 pound, fucking ugly, hairy chested behemoth has got a two before that he puts behind his back and sticks the end of it in his tights. And so the top of the two before is sticking up over his head about a foot, right? And he gets back in the ring, and he tells Tommy Young, the referee, said, don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Everybody in the goddamn building can see it, right? But that yeah. used to be frowned on, and now they just... Oh, yeah, yeah. 